Hello, my name's Craig Buchanan, and I farm south of Lawrenceville. I grew up on a farm, so when I was your age, I was already following my dad around, watching, and sometimes helping or playing on the farm. But I didn't farm full-time until I finished school about 15 years ago. Well, um, I probably decided to become a farmer because I liked the people I was farming with, the, the people I was um, working with as I grew up on the farm. And so for me, it was partly about the people I would be working with. And it was also, of course, about the fact that I liked working outside, liked working with the crops and the machinery, and I liked uh, being able to work our own land and be my own boss. Yes, I like to farm. There's things I don't like about farming, but I do like to farm. Absolutely, yes, there's definitely some challenges in farming. Um, it's not all fun and it's not all easy, so there, uh, like most jobs, it, there's some hard parts. Yes, I do. I farm with four other partners, and we also have one full-time hired man. So there would be six of us all together. Yes, I did. You don't have to go to college to farm, necessarily, but I did go to Southern Illinois University and studied uh, farming, agriculture. I do wear boots almost every day on the farm because it doesn't seem to matter what I'm going to do, I always get my feet dirty and the boots work better. Well, our farm just plants corn, soybeans, and wheat. We just have three crops on our farm. Um, let's see, I haven't counted them lately, but there's probably 40 or 50 different fields in our farm. Our farm has four big tractors and two combines. Well, all of our tractors and combines are John Deere right now. Yeah, <laughs> great question. No, you do not have to have a driver's license to drive a combine. You just have to have all the right training to do it safely. Well, um, the main thing we check before we start harvesting is the moisture of the grain. So we check our corn and we see how much moisture is in the corn. If it's too wet, we've got to wait till the sun dries it down some more. <laughs> yes, I have done that. I have run out of gas or diesel in the combine and that's not fun. Then you'll have a hard time getting the combine started again. Well, this happens every year. And when we start to get rain, sometimes we see the rain coming and we say, we better get out of the field before it gets muddy. And so that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll pull our tractors and combines to the edge of the field where we can get them out of the field easily, even if it rains a lot and gets really muddy. But sometimes we're in such a big hurry to keep going that we just keep on harvesting in the rain and then we have a mess. And I did that this year. No, thankfully I didn't get stuck, but it was pretty close. The, the semi-truck almost got stuck pulling out of the field. Oh yeah, it's always a bad thing to get stuck in a field. Usually it means you're in the field when it's too wet, and you shouldn't be out in your field when it's that wet. It tears up the field. Hmm. I'm going to have to think about that one. <laughs> Yes, there was something different this year. For the first time in harvest, I used a bean header on the combine to harvest corn. Now, why would I do that? Well, I've never done this before, but we had some areas in our field where the corn had fallen down flat like this. And the only way we could get it up off the ground and into the combine was by using a different header that's made for harvesting soybeans. So we actually used a soybean header to harvest the corn, and it worked okay. That's the first time I've ever done that. Oh, that's a good question. So a corn header is made to harvest the ears of corn about this high off the ground, okay? So you run your, cor your corn header about a foot off the ground. But a bean header runs right down on the ground really close. So that's the main difference. Oh, the other thing about the bean header that that helps um, 
is it has a what's called a reel on the front. Maybe you'll get to see some pictures of this. But the reel on the front goes around like this. You've probably seen them. And that reel pulls the plants into the combine. Thank you. Those are some great questions.